Hello, viewers. We appreciate you and appreciate God for giving us this wonderful opportunity to come on air. May his name be praised in the mighty name of Jesus. This edition is coming to you through Family Outreach Ministry and Foundation. We want to appreciate you and appreciate God for giving both of us this wonderful opportunity from our your regular hostess, P.C. Olowo and you are welcome today. We'll be back after this time out. Hello, dear. Babe, what's up? Tell me, how was your trip? My trip to Dubai was fantastic. I got to see the Dubai Museum. I even spent tonight at the famous Borja Lara Hotel. Oh my God, are you for real? I'm also planning a trip later in the year, and I'm not sure how to go about it. Babes, very simple. Just go to www.wisefirst.com. Oh yes, travel to any part of the world with the cheapest price ever and catering for your travel needs with ease on wisefirst.com. WiseFairs.com is an online portal that offers excellent, efficient flight services and world standard hotels around the world. We also offer package tours to Jerusalem and Mecca and any other place you can imagine. Book online today by logging on to WiseFairs.com or call 0802 8379 869 or visit our Lagos office at 15 Aromere Avenue of Allen Roundabout, Ikeja. WiseFairs.com takes care of your travel needs. So welcome back. The new topic we are going to start today, we know it will be exciting. And I pray that as you take your time to listen to us, the Lord will bless you. Shall we pray? Our Lord and our God, we are grateful unto you. We thank you so much for your love, for your care, for giving us another opportunity. Lord, we surrender ourselves at your feet. And we say, Jehovah take over from us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That which you have for your people, Lord, I pray, you will dish out, and they will take it, and it will nourish their body, soul, and spirit in Jesus' name. It will make them a new man in you, and your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You are welcome back. The topic we have for this season is seriously um, a very beautiful topic that you will love. And yet, some people may not like it. But we know when you begin to listen, God will expose who you are to you, and that will Create in you the grace to listen so that your life will not remain the same. And the topic is the characteristics of modern men and women. You may be looking, what is this woman trying to say again? A lot of young men and women today, they do not want to wait for God's time. They want to follow the trend of today. Even when their parents are cautioning them and telling them this is not right, they are not ready to listen. Some of them, they may start with failure instead of them to now wait and look at what are the reasons for my failure. Rather than doing that, they will abandon what they are doing at that moment. They want to jump into another one. And immediately. After starting that, 
they can fall into another failure, they will have no reason to evaluate why am I failing? This that I went into, I failed. This other one, I failed. They will go into another one without considering anything and evaluating themselves. Boy, I get it about some bossy feeling, you know, 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 and that is the reason why you see a lot of young men and women today they are just stagnant like a stagnant water smelling their life cannot impact the life of any person no life impacts theirs too because they feel they are too much for themselves <laughs> They have no purpose at all. They are just doing it because they saw their friends, their colleagues, their classmates, their workmates doing it and they feel, let me do it as well. And they will be so hasty to the extent that they wouldn't even learn from their colleagues doing it or even ask questions, but rather they want to follow their own way. I want to answer on the party. One more called you the BVP, one said, You know, but would you buy what we pay? So, the first characteristics that we are going to consider today is what we call um, rashness or being hasty. I'll be back after this time out. Gulf View Hotel and Suites gives you a free view of golf games going on live on Ikeja Golf Court from the comfort of the hotel rooms, especially the VIP rooftop lounge. The rooms are exclusively luxurious, easily accessible about 5 minutes drive from the local airport and approximately 10 minutes from Murtila Mohammed International Airport. Gulf View Hotel and Suites is situated at number 12 General Adeyinka Adebayo Road, GRA Ikeja, Lagos. Call 0700 Gulf View and 07000 Gulf Golf View for reservation. Golf View Hotel and Suite. A bright and beautiful magical experience. You are welcome back. If you can remember what we were saying, we were trying to bring a characteristic. Being hasty. Or rashness. When we say someone is hasty, what does that mean? It means the person is quick. And when we are talking about somebody who is hasty, sometimes you can be hasty and be hasty at doing the right thing. But a lot of times, those people who are hasty, they are doing it wrongly. They hurry into issues. They will not weigh their options before they rush into a decision. They act just according to something pushing them. And I want to say here that when you are rash, honestly, you are unwise. Because 
Then if we want to define rashness, then we will say is an unwise hasty. Taba wa fe wa wo pe kini tu mo pe ka wa so pe akoju awa so wi pe yiyara ti ko mu ogbon lowo when a man is hasty at doing the wrong thing then is a rash man ti eniyan ba yi koju lati se nkan o je ni to yara bi o mu ko eniyan and a rash man or woman can be termed as a reckless human being. And it's over what's in Yara Juloi, a wak as he any tea, poke, cacassi, talk on show, home, but in me. Then we will say such men or women, they respond to issues without due deliberations. You who more am I quite a to pass shelly. They have nothing cautioning them. That thing leading them is just telling them do it, do it, do it, and they will do it. They may not have good plans, they rush into it. They may not have any purpose for doing it, they just rush into it. You will just see them pursuing shadow and not reality. Because they are hasty and because they are rash. This is one of the characteristics of modern men and women. And that is why a lot of them are failing. And because of that, they look at situation and they start quarreling with God and say God is not good, God is not nice, God is partial. And they begin to say a lot of rubbish about God or their parents. We are asked, you are in this situation. You will dictate the pace of your life. Your parents cannot dictate the pace of your life. Even when your parents cannot send you to school, you can sit down and readdress your life and get what you needed out of situation without your parents sending you. We have a lot of parents who are not sending their children to school, but that individual looked into issues and said, come on, I, I, my friends are reading, I have to read. Some will go to the extent of going to do menial jobs. Some may go to the extent of doing dirty jobs so that they can get a means to sponsor themselves to school. <laughs> That is the reason why we can see a lot of young people today going into Yahoo Yahoo. Because 
what they are not supposed to do, they will do it because they are rash in taking decisions. We will be back after this time out. How bad as we are for life for you. Intergard Academy, Crutch Nursery Primary and Secondary School. Open door since 2010. Located at number 8 Sewing Street, Ikeja, Lagos. Intergard Academic School is one of the most equipped schools in Nigeria. We provide conducive environments for kids' development and necessary securities like CCTV, lifts for easy movements. We have qualified teachers that cater for children to help develop and discover their academic potentials. We offer first class facilities like well equipped library, full air conditioned classrooms, e library, waiting room. IC classes, playground. We seek to give every integral academic student the confident academic opportunities, strengths and characters that will help them find their unique path in life. Our students will become the legacy and decision makers tomorrow. Integral Academy, raise a child and shape the nation. Academy, raise a child and shape the nation. thing we said was that a lot of young people do not wait for their time, they cut corners, going rushing into Yahoo Yahoo. And I saw by no nipple or qua more, there were no deal, what they drew their foot in more. One man called you into the no, one man shall wait what I see she put so latterly to take you go. They are reckless. What then you see more cut cocasy? The money they did not work for. They cannot spend it wisely. And that is why we define rashness as unwise hastiness. And a lot of them meet with them is their sorrow in short while. I pray as many that are involved in such things, God will give you a change of mind to listen to what we are trying to say. And we want to say here that when you are hasty in some decision. We want to tell you that a lot of time is due to devil's trap. Devil has set a trap for you. He, he, he does not want you to make a success of your life. And now that is the modern trend of young people and young ladies. And you see them with very big cars and everything that which their parents cannot afford. And sincerely, when their parents are talking to them, they will tell their parents, please, mommy, daddy, just leave the issue. Uh, are you interested in me, you know, helping your life? With what? No parents will want to budge into that, except for parents who are not good examples to their children. <laughs> And this, I will just ask us to just see the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 29b. He, it says, he that is hasty 
of spirit exalts folly. Only any ton yara or jenny ton kuwa be as she will. Honestly speaking, I will want you to think about this word. When you are hasty, when you have the spirit to haste, be hasty in doing some things, you are exalting foolishness. That's why they will start this kind of thing. They will stop there because they have met some deadlocks. They will walk on this one, they will see another dead lord, they will walk into that and you see their life has no meaning. So I want you to really think about what we are saying today. Don't be hasty. Do the right thing at the right time. If you need to go to school, go to school. And when you are at school, face your studies. Don't join gangs. The modern spirit now is joining gangs. And they are always hasty. And they are, are rash at decisions. And they don't care what the results will be. So we are we are begging or pleading to you that you should please take your time. Look, patience will never be too much. Let your time of patience be the time you read and let what you are reading get through you. Some of you are you are in the university or higher institutions. university They are not ready to sit for the exam. They want to buy their way. They will talk to the uh, professor or lecturer who is in charge. What's your charge? If that one says 200, they will give him 500. The modern day spirit. Money, money, money. And that is why when you see young people in the street, those people who went through the university, you call them for interview, they are not worth the stuff you want to employ because school did not go through them. I was talking to a group of people. I, I told them, I said, a lot of you in school, they are university students. I said, what do you do there? You buy your way. People will write your, your, your thesis for you. <laughs> How do you want to say that I passed my exam and I did well? You can't. Ask somebody who just left school in a year, what is the topic of your thesis? They cannot tell you. university. Some of them is copy and paste. I was talking to a group of people. I, I told them, I said, a lot of you in school, 
They are university students. I said, what do you do there? You buy your way. People will write your, your, your thesis for you. <laughs> How do you want to say that I passed my exam and I did well? You can't. Ask somebody who just left school in a year, what is the topic of your thesis? They cannot tell you. Some of them is copy and paste. May God deliver our young people from this the spirit of nowadays. They are still on the same topic. Please take your time to listen to us next week. From I, your regular hostess, Bissi Olo, and Renia Polagi. God bless you.